Let me pick Wendy King. May I take your order? Just a minute. I'm not through checking the menu. Hi. Welcome to Mick Wendy King. May I take your order? I said I'm not through checking. <sighs> Never mind. Welcome to Mick Wendy King. May I take your order? I'm not through reading the menu. Oh. Well, whenever you're ready then. Thank you. Um, excuse me, ma'am. I can see from my window station. Are you coming through backward? Hi. First time at a drive-thru. Uh, no, I, I just can't get my driver's side door closed. It looks like it's closed from here, ma'am. Well, yes, I mean, from the inside. The hinge is... You have to lift up on the door in order to get it to latch when you close it. I can only do it from the outside, standing up, you know? So, I have to crawl in from the passenger side. It's not a pretty picture. Believe me. This is a drive through honey. All you need to do is open the window. Well, that's nice in theory, but I also have the added luxury of an electric window that doesn't work. Bummer. Yeah, I was pressing the button to lower it one day, and all of a sudden, smoke started pouring out. I thought, I better roll this thing back up before I have snow, sleet, hail, and the gloom of night all over my lap. So, it's rolled up now, permanently, or at least until I have 125 bucks to get a new window motor. Cars are expensive. <sighs> you can say that again. So, why didn't you just come inside and order? because then I'd have to climb all the way across the stupid passenger seat just to get out, which is really ridiculous, and I'd have to climb all the way across, which really would drive me completely nuts. Isn't that what you did anyway? Oh. You know, I'm really not thinking clearly these days. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Sounds like you better get that door fixed. <laughs> yeah, well, money's been a little short right now. In fact, I couldn't even drive this thing for the last month because we had to wait until payday to get a new muffler. So I had to get the kids up an hour early, get them ready for school, drive my husband in his car 30 minutes to work, drop the kids off on the way back. So you have kids? Two and a half. Two and a half years old. Boy, that can be a tough age. No, two and a half kids. I'm trying to keep up with the national average. I get it. You've got one of them on the way, huh? In the way is more like it. <laughs> uh, any day now. I can't wait. Between the back pain, the humidity, sleepless nights, it's driving me crazy. I almost lost it completely this morning. What happened? Truck driver drove me off the road. Nearly ran me into a ditch. Men, they think they own the highway. Well, I didn't catch the gender, but whoever it was, I let him have it. Way to go. Way to go. What'd you do? Cut him off? Flip him off? Tell him off? Uh, no, none of those. Not exactly. Well, what else is there? Actually, I washed my windows at him. You did what? I washed my windows. No comprendo. All right. You know how I said I've been driving my husband's car for the last month? Yeah. I've got an old T-Bird, and the horn is on the end of the turn signal lever, believe it or not. <laughs> okay. Now I'm back in my own car, where the tip of the turn signal lever is the window washer button. Uh-huh. So I went to lay on the horn, and I laid on the Windex instead. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, housewife through and through, I guess. There I am, headed into a ditch, on the verge of meeting my maker, and I'm washing windows. Crazy. Well, you know what they say. Cleanliness is next to godliness. So I've heard. So, here I am. I avoided the ditch, got all the bugs off my windshield, and now I'm sharing my life story, sitting backwards, with someone that I've never met and I've never even seen. Reminds me of going to confession. Going where? Confession. I grew up Catholic. We had to go into a little closet and confess our sins to a screen. Oh, I grew up Baptist myself. We never sinned. <laughs> Must be nice. 
Well, it depends on how you look at it. Now they say confession is good for the soul. Well, we all need to talk, you know. Keeps us from going nuts. Yeah. So, what can I get you for lunch? I didn't want it, you know. Well, it's just past 11. I might be able to get you a breakfast. Let me check. <laughs> the baby, I mean. Pardon me? I wasn't so sure I wanted to have another child. Oh. I mean, it just isn't the right time right now, you know? John and me, we haven't been having a very good time lately. It's been really hard. I think it has a lot to do with money, you know? Okay, he was laid off his job a couple of years ago, and now what he's doing, he says it just isn't him. You know what I mean? I think so. And we already have two kids, you know? Old enough to be left on their own once in a while. I had these big plans. I was going to go back to school, get my degree in a couple of years. We didn't plan on this. This is not what we wanted. And we're short enough on money as it is, you know? This is not the only thing that I can do. If I'm going to contribute at all, the only thing I'm qualified to do is, like, work at some fast food restaurant. It's not very fulfilling to me somehow. I hear you. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. I did not That's mean... okay. That's okay. You know, I'm, I'm really glad that I'm facing backwards. I'm just going to drive out the back entrance and move to Oregon. What did you say? I have five children myself. You do? Up to the door and pick me up. 
We're going down to the road to a real restaurant. <laughs> I can live with that. Be with you in half a minute. Roger, over and out. Over and out. <laughs>